Oh my goodness, look whose feet these are. Who could it be? Nice chunky thighs. Who could it be? This is someone I've never shown in a long, long time. Her name is Madison. Maddie for short. Madison Chesterly. Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Boobins Cradle. I'm here with Maddie. She is the Esme Sculpt by Cassie Brace and Reborn by Wendy of Weeby Dolls. And <laughs> if you hear the grader outside, they are currently grading a whole bunch of snow. So yeah, it's um still winter here up in northern Canada, but I would still love to put Maddie into a spring outfit. Okay. Um, I do have a diaper change for her because she's been in this one for a long, long time. But the outfit I have is this beautiful, I hope it's not too big, but this beautiful yellow spring. Isn't it beautiful? I received this in Happy Mail. It's so pretty. And it comes with these bloomers. I don't know if they actually go together, but I mean, they both yellow. And I thought maybe a cute bonnet. I hope it'll fit her. Um, some socks with lace on it. So, let's get her into a new diaper. But yeah, um, I named her Madison Chesley initially. Because, I don't know, she looks like a Maddie to me. She's so sweet. Oh, your hair is going to hurt. That's okay. Okay, so. So I'm still on spring break, obviously. It's only midweek. And I am loving my time off. So she still has her. Well, this is like still brand new. And, um. People from a long time ago used to wonder if these stain, and they don't. She has... See? Look how cute she is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I f you know what? I forget how much... I love these dolls and how realistic they are and I just fall in love with each one all over again I really love it so these are size one but I'm wondering if she would wear a size two she's like that onesie was a newborn but it was kind of big but she looks like a zero to three but let's just Try this size one. She could probably fit into a size two. Oh wow, well. she actually fits this quite well. These downstairs. These are like kind of big. But that's okay. Let's see. They still work. <laughs> I 
It still works. Now this here is a George. It's a Walmart brand, size three six. <clears throat> Looks a little she a little big on her, but not overly big. But I love how spring. I wonder if I should change this color. <laughs> I love this hobby where you can um like color coordinate everything. I love that. Oh, and I meant to be here. I'm doing a tag. I'm doing Penny's tag. Lighthearted life and collectibles. She I will link her video. But she has a, a wonderful tag going on. Oh I should have wrote down what it's called. Um something about going by a time travel time machine dolly time machine if you could go back in time and visit yourself what advice would you give yourself oh my goodness i'm being distracted by how beautiful this fits looks wonderful on her and i keep forgetting to describe these so it's a um springtime dress it's yellow and white striped it could be white with yellow horizontal stripes it has beautiful arrangement of flowers around the belly area the waist area it has pink like peonies or they're not roses but kind of wild roses maybe um there's butterflies on here, navy blue butterflies speckled with pink and white and light blue. And there's leaves on here. There's yellow daffodils, it looks like. Um, just an arrangement of wild flowers. And there's um, like stems of leaves in here. And it's so beautiful. It's it has the only sleeve it has are ruffles so it's like a sleeveless dress but it has ruffles and it's slightly big on her but not overly and it's so pretty and the socks i have are just white socks with a trim of lace and there's a white rose like a laced rose just white so I'm put those socks on her. And I have a bonnet for her. It's just a simple, uh, I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but they call them eyelids, I think. But it has a pinned uh, tool rose bow, a bow, and then an embroidered, well, it's a flower, it's not a rose. Just a basic white. And let's see if it fits her. Oh, it does fit her. Barely. And I'll tie it up, tie the lace into a bow. Oh my goodness. Okay, I wonder if I have a yellow latex bottle. A tall one. I have purple, I have red, I have light blue. I do have a yellow, but like is a dark yellow. Um, I want something simple. I have this. I have a Playtex or a Pampers bottle here. That should work. This fake lotion, the fake milk, I mean, has been in here forever. Oh, I keep forgetting about the tag. Okay, I should sit down and not be distracted. I'll be right back. 
so I'm in the living room and look at this beautiful vintage type it's a pattern isn't it it's so Easter I love it <laughs> my shoulder and here's Maddie Madison uh, okay let's see if I can Oh, she's so peaceful. She's like so happy. Yes, her son. Actually, look at her beautiful feet. It's too hot for socks. It's not hot for socks, but it's nice and sunny. It's work. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Distract. I'm supposed to be here doing a tag. But you're so beautiful. Okay. Let's see if you can see her face. Okay. Let's leave it like this and let her sleep. Does, does that look natural? Not really. Anyways, yeah, I've never seen so many in a while. Okay. Um, the tag is, I mentioned this already, if you could go back in time and give yourself advice within this hobby, Dolly advice, what advice would you do? And if you went back in time, well, we are going back in time, but when would you go back in time? So... For me personally, um, the very first day I received, okay, let's even go back even more. Um, I discovered the hobby by accident. I was not into dolls as an adult. I was highly into dolls as a child and as a young teenager. But as I started growing older, my family, mostly my mom and uh, other people in my life were kind of saying, aren't you too old for dolls? And of course, thinking, maybe I am. So I sold all my Barbies. I was highly into Barbies in miniature doll houses. And I loved my dolls. Um, I had a Raggedy Ann. I had like... Um, not a, I never had any baby loves, but I had like, I forget the name of the dolls, but um, I love them. Gave them all away or sold them. And never went back into dolls ever again. I, did, I didn't even know about American Girl dolls. Maybe I'll take this off so you can see her beautiful face. Let's go like this. Okay. Um, I didn't know of any of those kind of dolls, right? but I came into this hobby by accident and it was on YouTube and I was looking up morning routines and, um, I've said this story before, so if you've heard it, please bear with me. But for the new people here to my channel, um, I was into makeup, beauty. I was an Avon consultant. I sold Avon and I used to buy every single type of makeup and colors just because I, I wanted to. And I was into videos like uh, makeup organization, what's in my makeup drawers, uh, stuff like that. And then I started getting into like uh, vlogs and I was really interested in what other women did for breakfast. When they when did they have coffee? When did they wake up? Did they work out in the mornings? I wanted to know what other women in like I was a young mother. Well, not young mother, but my kids were kind of young. And um so 
I came upon this video about baby morning routine and I thought, oh, babies, I miss my sons when they were babies. So I clicked on it and turned out it was not a real baby. It was a reborn baby. And I was kind of like creeped out at first. I'm like, what? What are they doing? Are they actually playing with a doll? They should older teenager I was so confused so horrified I was horrified because they're so realistic and the way they move is like crazy so but I was curious too I was really curious so I started watching more and more of these reborn vlogs and I came across two channels that inspired me to want to get my own reborn and that was Yvonne from having you on and it was Linda from my sweet cupcake and those two ladies I'm like wow ladies like around my age they love this hobby and I want to be a part of this hobby so anyways I already was doing an Avon channel so I knew right away that I wanted a different channel just for this hobby so now if I could go back in time I would go back to July 3rd 2015 and that was when I uploaded my very first video for YouTube now if I could go back I would go back to that day and tell myself that keep going you're going to be like not overly successful, but successful enough to earn a little bit of side money for the hobby. Um, but I would tell myself to protect my YouTube name more. Back in the beginning around 2016, 2017, a lot of my videos were being stolen. And many of my pictures were being stolen. So... Uh, um, YouTube has this protection program, like where you, um, it's free. And I forget because it was so many years ago, but I had to learn the hard way to protect yourself on YouTube. And that's why for the past, I don't know how many years now, but when I say, hey guys, it's Brenda from My Wee Reborn Cradle. That is a hint. You should always claim yourself, your name title, because um, the people that were stealing my videos were also gaining subscribers on their channel with my videos. But I never said, um, hey guys, it's Brenda from my wee Reboot channel. I never said that. I just, oh yeah, I used to go like, happy Monday or happy Friday. <laughs> That's what I used to do. So, but there is a, uh, the, in the settings of YouTube, you can you can claim your channel name as yours. It's like the partner program or partner something. I mean, okay, there's an option. Everyone must be a part of the YouTube partner program, but there's a special click. I should look into it. There's a special thing where you can actually claim like my name, my reborn cradle as me, belonging to me, legally me. So I would tell myself that and make sure that like the restrictions on YouTube, like add in all these, I used to get trolls left and right and they would bother me. At, like in the beginning for sure they bothered me, but after a while it just got tiresome. Like really bad comments like your doll is so ugly and I want to kill you and you're fat and you're ugly and your dolls are ugly and your home is ugly and uh like just those aren't too bad but I used to have death threats like um I'm gonna come over to your house and kill you and all your kids and then I'm gonna take your dolls and rip them apart and I don't know just stupid stuff and um, I didn't take it too personally, but it was kind of disturbing. So I would tell myself, like, to set up those restrictions right away. Um, I have over 300 people blocked because they were just so rude. 
and and stupid on my channel or they were trying to advertise other things and it's just I want my YouTube to be a happy place and you're getting heavy my girl oh can you see your face she's getting heavy let's see if I like her to sleep but her hat her hat I'll just take it off Oh, <laughs> oh, it is Okay, make sure she can breathe. <laughs> Let's see if she can. Okay, I'll just go like that. Okay. But yeah, I would tell myself to put those restrictions in place, like, right away. To, um, because all those trolls and all those, um... Like, just, I don't know if they're kids or what, and I don't know, they're just, I did not want to see it. And I remember my son telling me, hey mom, if you're getting trolls on your channel, that means you're growing, that's good news, it's good news to get trolls. And I'm like, I don't like them. <laughs> so, and I also have a ton of words Swear words, every swear word I could think of is in there. Um, like, just, like, the words, like, kill and dead and ugly. And, like, all these negative words are in there. The restricted pile. That way I can review them before they go on. And, or I just delete them or block them. If they're really, really horrible, I block them. So, um... But yeah, I would tell myself that. Oh my goodness, I just rambled. But I, I'm trying to promise myself I won't ramble. <sighs> Another piece of advice I would give myself is... Um, I've heard other tech people mention that they would buy a doll because they're popular. Um, I never did that. However, what I used to do was buy a doll because it was such a great deal <laughs> and many of them would have like boo-boos and I thought but for the price that's a good price I could buy it <laughs> yeah and there's like three dolls in my collection that I Bought because they're such a great deal that I'm not really bonded with so because of their boo-boos so <laughs> one of them I turned into a cuddle baby and I love her so much now um, another one I just changed to gender and that helped but I'm still not I don't know I think the new bodies the bodies are really important uh one of the best things i've learned in this hobby is how to reweight or change out the bodies of these um because that helps tremendously and i didn't know that right away it took me a couple of years before i knew that so i've sold a doll here and there in the beginning that i regretted so another thing too like <laughs> and and I know my collection is huge. I don't mind how big it is. However, I do mind regretting selling dolls that I absolutely miss now. And all because I sold them. All because I didn't know how to change their bodies or change their weight. And that in itself is a huge part of loving the dolls. Um... There's the painting aspect, the hair aspect, the rooting job, or paint job, <laughs> and there's the weight of the baby. So, if you don't know how to reweight, I would highly recommend that you learn how. So, and I think I remember a doll's head fell off on me, and I didn't know what to do. See, and if I wouldn't know what to do, then I wouldn't have panicked so much. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah, I would tell myself, like, learn how to reweight, fix your doll. I can't, I don't know how to repaint or anything, but she likes it, sweet. This guy. Mm. Oh, I miss you. I miss you, sweet girl. Oh, your hair gets me too. But you know what? That's that's the only advice I can think of. So she's heavy. She's so heavy. <sighs> that's what I love about the hobby. The dolls get too heavy for you, and you can just. Place them down. Don't worry about them. There you go. They won't wake up. They won't cry. <laughs> okay. And I can't remember. Oh my goodness. This video is like... But basically, everything in this hobby is a journey. And I do appreciate learning and growing within this hobby. Um... But yeah, the legal part of protecting your name, even though I don't sell anything, I'm not a reborner, I still had to protect my videos. So, um, oh, and another thing too about copyright issues. You have to be very careful on copyright. So, um, I don't know what else to say. I'm just thankful for this hobby. I love this hobby. It does have a lot of ups and downs for sure. Um, online friendships um, sometimes are rocky. And sometimes you get caught up in other people's drama. And their, their stories of friendship gone away. But it's all part of learning. I... For the most part, I love the online community and the people that I am surrounded with. I feel very thankful to be part of this hobby. Um, I did do a video a while ago, like, why I want to leave the Reborn community. And that was because there was, there's always, every few months, there's always a huge issue with something and I did not want to be a part of it. And I remember hearing other people saying, well, you're either on this fence or this fence. Which one are you? And it's like, well, why can't I just be neither? And they wouldn't accept that. It's like, no, you have to be either on this side or either on that side. What side? And I'm like, well, none. And then they're like, well, why are you here? It's like, so... <laughs> Anyways, I decided to uh, direct my channel as nurturing my inner child because at the end of the day, that is what I am doing. I am nurturing my inner child and I couldn't be more happy. I couldn't be um, considering like uh, me mental health issues. This hobby has saved my life <laughs> really it did sorry <laughs> um so yeah uh that's the most advice is i would get my name protected right away like know your youtube right away um i ha i don't have a giant list of subscribers but i do have a decent amount um I think a lot of it is my channel kind of went viral back in uh, 2016, 17. That's when my channel, that's when my um, videos were being stolen and stuff. But I, it was the type of videos too that I used to love to do. I used to love to role play. I used to love stop motion videos i used to love diy videos how to make fake milk how to um make a reborn bed <laughs> how do i i just loved it and then hearing criticism from other channels like why are you role playing role playing so dumb or why don't you own this why don't you own that and it's like uh, kind of feel defeated 
like being a part of a group, I guess. I don't know. It's so hard to explain because I'm just rambling. <laughs> so anyways, guys, overall, I would just say keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. You're doing great. And um, protect your name. Protect your videos. No, I had to. I did learn my analytics. Um, so, like, how to... I never really looked at them in a long time, which I should, like, redo. Um, there are new analytics out now. They're, they're different. They're a bit more advanced in some cases. In some cases, they've taken out a lot of things that I used to, um, I used to pay attention to that are no longer there. So, um... Um, I'm just grateful for the people who are here. And by the way, speaking of, thank you to all the commenters in my last video. So thank you guys so much for all of that. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you guys. It means so much to me when you comment on my videos. And it just, I love the interaction so much. So thank you guys for, for that. But I am going to go. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize the time. <sighs> um, oh, thank goodness I didn't miss anything. I have a lot of things to do around here. So I hope that you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. And please comment down below. I love to interact with you guys. Um, if you have any questions, I'm here to answer them. And I um, love you guys so much. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. I really mean it. Thank you guys. And until next time, very soon. Bye guys. Have a great day. Match hand guys. Match hand. Bye guys. Love you. Bye.